Temperatures continue to push into the 90s, and that could put lives in danger. The first half of this year is on record as the deadliest for children locked in hot cars. 18 have died nationally. Today, we reached 94 degrees at the station with a heat index of 106. News 3's Jeff Stensland tested how hot a car with its windows closed would get. Using a digital thermometer, I try to see exactly how hot this Toyota Matrix will get and how long it takes. The test begins at 351. The temperature outside, 93 degrees. It takes just six minutes for the car to reach the temperature outside. And then the temperature keeps climbing. Rapid heat stroke. That's the danger that worries paramedics like George Hess. He says summer is a busy time for him at Pinckneyville Ambulance Service, and he's shocked to learn 18 children have died in hot cars this year alone. Uh, it's incredible. Um, when, you, when you think that the, the heat season didn't start till, till maybe March or even late April, you're looking at uh, several a month. That, uh, and sadly enough, we're all preventable. 15 minutes into the test, it is 112 in the car. Fast forward to 25 minutes, and it's 119. It reaches 122 degrees in 28 minutes and stops reading. Temperatures exceed the thermometer's limits. Hess says the air inside the car is likely still getting hotter. The temperature inside a vehicle with closed windows can rapidly reach 150, 160 degrees in this kind of temperature. Officials say it was 130 degrees in this car when two-year-old twins were found stuck inside in New Madrid County on June 16th. Family members tried cooling the girls with a cold bath, but it was too late. Hess says heat affects every organ of the body, as it likely did in this case. Everything suffers, the brain especially, and, and, and even if it doesn't lead to death, a short period of time in there can, re, can lead to some irreversible brain damage also from the high temperature. Much like, much like having a high fever, your body temperature is going to rise to an incredible amount. The lesson learned here, even a few minutes of running errands is too dangerous to leave anyone, kids, pets, or parents, in a hot car. In Williamson County, Jeff Stensland, News 3.